What is your best piece of movement advice for everyone, no matter their age? So I would say, listen to your body and honor and respect what it's telling you. It's so interesting. Certainly, we want to keep moving. But I think by listening, for me, what has happened is I move constantly. And I'm always aware of my body just because of my training with Katie. Um, Because I'm always checking, you know, where my chin is, where my ribs are, all of that stuff. But it's listening. For example, as a coach, I spend a lot of time sitting, you know, in telephone conversations or on Zoom with people. And I notice that after an hour of coaching session, my body is saying, you need to get up and move. I don't like being in this space, you know, where I can't move, where I'm restricted. And so it's that, but it's also listening to when your body is in pain or when something doesn't agree with what you're doing to take a look and don't just push through it. You know, the no pain, no gain. That's never been uh, the philosophy that Katie has given to us. And I totally agree, but it's really, really listen, pay attention. And, you know, you don't have to succumb to every ache and pain, but knowing that it's there and knowing when your body needs movement, I think is the, is the best way to, you know, live a long, healthy life. <laughs> Listen, honor your life. Um, allow your life to be your teacher. Wherever it needs to take you, it can make no mistake. It must be perfect for you. You've been given this life. And all of living takes movement. So being alive means you are following all of the millions, gazillions of movements within your life. Uh, With curiosity, with intent, with happiness, with joy, with gratitude. And that the body is not going to say yes. We have to be adamant with our bodies. We have to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that movement is a essential, no, no argument part of our lives. Oh, to, to wherever you are, make the most of your movement uh, possibilities. For example, I'm sitting on a ball as a speaking to you and I'm moving my hips back and forth and it, and it not only feels good it uh, it is exercising uh, I'm doing circles I'm doing squares I'm doing triangles as I'm talking to you and and it seems like that's the way I get a lot of not my movement not sitting on balls but just utilizing somewhere that I am uh, whether it's moving my my toes my feet my whatever I I try to um, makes the best of every opportunity. Keep moving. That's it. Keep moving to the best of your ability. And um, if you have trouble moving, be kind to yourself and keep working on it. 